I know this doesn't come as a surprise to anyone, but Barkle was removed from the ban list. It's been six years since my boy wasn't banned. And now we're here to talk about why. Unbanning Barkle is the smartest slash stupidest thing on the planet. How's it going everyone? My name's Silver, and welcome back to the channel. And that's right guys, if you guys don't know, Barkle was removed from the ban list. Along with TikTok, TikTok worker, a 7C starter, and a, a Ripley card. None of them were actually really all that great. And I figured that I'm, a, I'm kind of a day behind on this news. I'm just like, my Blaster Blade info was dropped earlier today. This will be dropped later today as well. But let's, let's talk Barkle for a second. Barkle. Just in case you don't know what this card does, because... You're new to Vanguard, and you haven't watched the show from season one forward, like a noob! I'm sorry, that was just me. Um, yeah, so Barkle. He is a forerunner. runner may be put to the back of your guard when another unit rides over him. Rest this unit, search your deck for one card, up to one card named Future Knight, Lou, or Flugel. Call it to rear guard and shuffle deck. That doesn't sound bad. Flogel doesn't have a skill. What's so bad about Lou? Why why was this card put on the ban list? Well, you see, we come here, we'll just search up Lou. Probably not gonna find anything because of this. And there you go. Um, Lou. Let's read what Lou does. And just also move this back back to Barkle. Lou! Counterblast one. Choose a future night Lou unit and a unit named Barkle and a unit named Flogel from Rearguard. Put them into your soul. If you have a grade 1 Vanguard, search your deck for one Blaster Blade. Ride it, shuffle it, and shuffle your deck. This is busted. So you rest Barkle, counterblast one for Lou, and you ride. So yes, this was deemed broken at one point in the early days of the game, but in recent years I've thought it to be less broken. Yes, you can add a total of three cards to soul and get a grade two, which means you have four cards in soul by grade two. Well, time to see how premium decks are going to run. That's right, uh, so blaster decks are going to be definitely different. So, I actually wanted to talk about the market, and then I will show my current premium deck that I think I'm going to be running for Exceeds. Uh, I'll have to, uh, probably, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So, Barkle. His old price, if we come back to here, and we look here, his market price was thir uh, 323 not a bad price for a triple rare from one of the original sets. And his SP was at $10. Now we just look at Barkle, $14.99. And there's only six on the market. I haven't even put mine out on the market yet. There's only six on the market. And I don't think the sales are gonna stop there. I mean, if, I wonder if Flogel's... Did Lou go up? No, Lou didn't go up. Okay. He's stuck at his average market. But I would recommend buying your Lou's quickly and your Flogel's relatively soon. But $15. And a lot of decks are going to be running four of these guys. Because if you're... Well, you might not be running four. You may, depending on your starter and the starters we get. But this card is valuable. This will allow you to get the new blaster blade out real quickly. Fifteen dollars for this. Alrighty. So yeah. We're gonna move on to the deck profile of my premium deck. Alrighty, how's it going guys? We're back with how I believe the um blaster deck will be run, or in premium format at the very least. Standard, we'll know more about when we finally get there, but... So, our standard starter normally for a blaster deck is Wingle Brave. Which I still keep in the deck because it could be very situational and, and it can just be good to have. Um, 
So, yeah. Okay, my mouse is being weird. Come on, mouse work. So, Barkle is your other starter that you'll have in this deck. Some decks do run like this, and honestly, I don't see a problem with spacing in the deck for this. Um, you don't run draw triggers, and the units are pretty much more or less spread out pretty evenly. So, Barkle will combo with the other things. Uh, the only time you're really going to use this, though, as your actual starter is for when you're trying to play the Lu combo and the Flogo uh, Stand combo. Um, I guess if this is just your only starter and you draw up Wingo, you could technically just have one Lu critical and one Flogo stand and fill out the rest of your deck with other things. That comes down to each person, each individual person. But with the new sniping stuff that's coming from uh, Kagiro, I wanted to be sure I had four copies to run. Um, the second critical we run is the Floral Paladin and Logo. I talked about this in my prior video announcing Blaster Blade's skill. And this is just going to allow Blaster Blade, your Blaster Blade unit, to restand and use its skills. You have the Flogo stand trigger just because Flogo likes standing things. So, yeah. Um, I threw in this heal trigger. This is the heal trigger you bind another one when it's used for G Guard. And you can counter charge or soul charge one. I feel like the deck has a lot of uh, counter charging already, so you're mostly going to use this for its soul charging for your uh, perfect guards, which we'll cover here in a second. Um, so yeah, you got running four of those. We run, we run four Blaster Friend Barkle. Um, it's Barkle when it, when it, when Blaster Blade is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard in the same column as this unit, you counter charge one, hence the counter charge. This deck doesn't use up a lot of counter blasts in the, in the early game, so. This is good to have four of. Um, it's a nice search target if you can search it out. Um, Wingull Youth, one of my favorite cards. Uh, when it's a, when it boosts or attacks and it hits, you may search your deck for, or you, you may look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal a Blaster Blade, and add it to hand. And if you put if you put a Blaster Blade to hand or a card with Blaster Blade in its name, send this unit to Soul. Um, next we're running the Divine Fountain Maiden Lynn. She's Soul Blast 1. Unless it's placed on Guard Circle from him, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your Grade 3 units with Alfred or Blaster in its name, and that is being attacked, and that unit cannot be hit until end of battle. Good card, good effect. We run it because it targets our Blaster Vanguard. And it says one of our Grade 3. So, so as long as you have your grade 3 blasters out, you should be good. Is it? Choose one of your grade 3 units with Alpha. Yep. Alright, so and being that this is a very blaster heavy deck, this will this card will protect your wing... Nope, it will protect your Barkle, it will protect your blaster blades, your blaster spirits, your... Uh, it won't protect your this loop, but it will protect this loop. So yeah, moving on, um, these are proxy because Cardfight Area doesn't have in the um, new Blaster Blade yet. So this would be the new 10k Blaster Blade with its new skill. Um, it's used because you're just going to call a bunch of stuff to rear guard anyways. So extra critical. You're on four Blaster Blade Spirits, but the app messed up and put them on the opposite sides of Lou. Uh, reason being you run four Blaster Blade Spirits is for the Blaster name. This deck is Blaster themed. Um, your next card that you run in your grade 2 lineup is Favored uh, Disciple of Light in Darkness Blue. When it's boosted by Flogel, the, the Critical Flogel, or the Blaster Barkle, it gets 3k, and then you counter blast one, put it to soul at the end of battle when your Vanguard attack. At the end of battle, at the end of battle, the Zion attack the Vanguard. You may play the cost. If you search your deck for one unit, one one grade two with blaster and same, call it to your shuffle deck, and that gets 3k power. So this is used to either be supported by this, this, or this to call out any of your other grade two blasters, which is blaster blades and Bla blaster blade spirit. If you call it blaster blade, you'll be able to attack with it, and this will be able to um, restand. This will restand your rang, uh, your blaster blade. Again, good card being it will come in at 13k. It just runs well. Your main grade three will be blaster blade exceed, which is counter blast one when your unit with saver and its name strides on this. You may pay the cost if you do during your turn. 
Search your deck for one blaster blade. Or, yeah, search your deck for one blaster blade, reveal it, put it to hand. So as long as you get one of these pretty early on in the game, you're pretty solid on um, striding. And it has a counter blast one when this is placed on banner rear. You may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for... If you do, choose one of your opponents, grade one or greater rear guards, retire it. So more retiring, and then we run this as a bas backup a blaster unit. When this is placed on banner rear, you may choose one blaster blade for and its name from your drop zone, put it to the bottom of your deck. If you do, give this unit 5k. If you have a blaster, if you have a vanguard with Alfred or Blaster Blade in its name, this unit gets 5k shield and intercept. So that is your main deck. Everything runs at basically 4 in this deck besides your two starters. Which works out really nice overall. Yeah, everything does run at 4 besides the two starters. And then we're going to discuss the G-Zone, which is my personal choice. So we'll just... We'll just sort of flip everything up. You guys can see everything that I'm sort of meaning in the G zone. Load to the. Increase the G zone? This was at 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Huh. I feel like I'm missing. Four cards. The G zone wasn't increased to my knowledge. All right. So we're running one Ultima for Zeroth Dragon purposes. Um, really not needed in the deck, but it could be fun to use. It might catch some people off. You're mainly going to be running. You're mainly going to start your turn off with uh, Gancelot for its ability to counter charge, get an extra drive and a critical. And if this card is face up, all your rear guards and blaster melee get continuous resist which helps out a lot. You're running this just cause deck filler. So blast three when this attacks. If you have a heart with Alfred or Blaster, choose the three rear guards, give it 5k. One sea breeze if your opponent tries to stall you out, which won't matter in premium now that I'm thinking about it. At least I don't remember. I don't think it matters in premium anymore. I think there's a rule changing how strides work, but um, we have it in here just in case. Uh, Regalius, this has been out for a very long time. Just in case you don't know what it does, I'll go over it. Counterblast 1, choose a copy of this face down. That's why we have two. Near G-Zone, turn it face up. When this is placed on van, if you have a heart with Blaster in its name, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose three of three of your units, and they get 5k power until on turn. If the number of cards in your soul with Blaster in its name is two or more, this unit gets plus one critical. So, this does work out really well. Not your main thing, like all this from here, these four cards are sort of not any real big thing. You're going to basically go into this and then run into um, your Divine King Knight Alfred Holy Saver, which DB2, counter blast one, choose a unit with the same name as this, turn it face up, choose a card from hand, discard it. If you have a heart with Alfred or Blaster in its name, choose one of your rear guards with Blaster Blade in its name, and turn it turn gets 3k power, and continuous this performs Twin Drive on its during its first battle. Overall, fairly simple. We'll hit up Marin. We have the little, little great sage Marin as three of our heal, uh, perfect guard or G guards. I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. So with this soul blast, when this is placed on rear guard, on guard circle, if a blaster or Alfred, it's card name. You for the cost if you, if you do search your deck for one. Grade one or greater card, call it to rear, call it to guard, sh give it 5k shield, and shuffle deck. Yeah, we're running three. A screw for situational and for more resist if you don't get Gancelot up in time. So, yeah, that is the main deck profile, and that is sort of the overall video. I think this is mainly how premium blaster decks are gonna look. Each one is unique though, so some people might be running it differently. Um, let me know what you guys run for your blaster deck currently and what you think you're going to run in premium. Till next time, guys, I've been so broken. I'll see you all later. Peace.